the brightness on this day has given me the opportunity to bring you this video welcome back to my channel winging is with ac my name is ac so i had to vlog this we are about to do an unbagging so you see how in the bible when david instead of going to war he went and was walking on the rooftop he was taking a stroll and he went and saw sister Bathsheba, and one thing led to another this is how i went to take a walk and as i was walking there was a man holding a sign that said pick up free food bags between 5 and 6 p.m i said where 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 so um there was a baptist church nearby so i was like oh sir i will be back so i walked um to where i was going and then when i was returning then i stopped by so there were lots of cars because they saw the sign he was holding a lot of cars were going into the churchyard to go and pick up the three food bags when i went i honestly thought that it was just like something small like oh maybe there's just a box or a bag that has maybe like biscuits and juice and maybe donuts or something this is how this one of them messed me with this all of this so we are coming to unbag it and see what and what is inside. Hmm, where did they show white kidney beans, canned food, sweet peas, sweet peas, yeah, baby. Um, original diet nuts. Meat bites, original smoked sausage ish. Macaroni. Oh wow. Strawberries. But I think these ones were probably canned strawberries, maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't think so, but let's see. Um is this mint? Um, it's either mint or one of those associated leaves. Okay. This is spinach, I think. I don't know. But there are some leaves inside here. Um, for those who want to do one salad or the other. Yes, we Bread of life. Oh no, I think this is rather this is kale, I think. Kale. And then <sighs> Tuna. Tuna chunks chunk lights chunk tuna in oil so people of god this is how the house of god a baptist church is sharing free food on a fine sunny tuesday evening because it is six almost six thirty now there you have it so some of them i will surely use some of them maybe will, i don't know the Lord will direct us what to do with this. <coughs> Sha.
another day of shopping. We have vlog. Let me see another day of shopping. But still, uh, this is your blouse is in. May give up because let me show you at least first I had many blouses. Today, we have Macy's. We need so Macy's were around because last time we were in Yanko Macy's. So we went to Ross. Ross is like Cantamanto. <laughs> America's Cantamanto. You have to have patience and time to um, search through things and find um, good bargains. Right now, I've given up on trying to get blouses because I really need blouses for work. But I'm not finding any um, nice ones so far with all the shops we've been to. And my mom too. We went to JC Penny's and she found some, but that's about it. <sighs> and shoes for work. I found one. Um, I'm tired, and the money is literally almost finished. So we'll see. Right now, we're going to Dunkin' Donuts to go and get donuts to eat, and then wait for my brother to pick us up. Hey, you and this your popcorn. <laughs> you and this your popcorn. of God alas the day has come the hour has arrived whatever point is it's time for me to leave my four week I think I've been here for four weeks my four week vacation is over it's currently 12 noon um, or almost 12 noon I'm going to Ion Bath my things are packed. I'm set to go. We'll be leaving for the airport around 1. We'll probably get there by 2. Check in, do immigration, all of that. My flight is at 5.50. The flight is leaving at 5.50. Today is Wednesday, so I'll get to Ghana tomorrow, Thursday, in the evening um, at like around 8 p.m. Um, it's been good taking a break from work especially i really really miss the boys so i'm really really excited to go home and then meet them um yeah so i didn't vlog much after i shot the um washington vlog because i don't tire so i will try and shoot a few clips at the airports again but um if i don't speak to you again i will see you back in the land of do so okay
Thank you and see you. Now once again, make sure you put everything in bands so you have no drinks or beverages. Remove large jacks from coats, empty all pockets, and shoes off. Good morning so we are back in Ghana um, I have a rant I'm not even sure I even feel like narrating what happened with customs after you finish taking your suitcases from baggage claim and you are exiting the arrivals hall <laughs> Ghana I get in and say, they say, the man takes my passport and he's frowned his face, he takes my passport, he opens, he said I should open the bag. How long have I been away? I said one month. He, he was going through my suitcase, going through the things, he says, the things are too much. And then, no, he asked me, so, uh, so did I go to work? I said, no, I just went to visit my brother. He was speaking tree with me, and for some reason, I was just responding in English. Did I go to work? I said, no, I just went to visit my brother. And he asked the question again, was it work that took you there? And I said, I went to visit my brother. In my head, I was like, did you not hear me the first time I gave the answer? And he was like, no, the things are too much. And I said, too much? Too much how? It's like, the things are too much for one month. There's just one month you've been away. All these things is too much. And I was trying to figure out if he was just playing games with you or if he was being serious. Because it just sounded ridiculous. Too much saying you know and he and i'm like too much eh? <laughs> so he has me open the second suitcase close to he's like yeah they're too much and then i think either his colleague or supervisor comes and he's like yeah hey, i'm better you should come and look and he was like yeah hey, the things are too much for just one month i've been away and i said ah, what do you mean by too much and that's hey, the things are too much so i have to pay duty tax or uh whatever tax uh hey, duty or tax I said, ah, is it something new that the government has implemented once again to just try and get money from people? Or I don't get it. Then the other one who came was like, eh, yes, we are not staying. I said, ah, it's too much. I have my father. I, I started mentioning people. So I shouldn't buy things for them. And they're like, no, they're not saying you shouldn't buy gifts. But you, you see, then he took a pamphlet. You see over here, says that then when you buy gifts, you have to pay a uh, tax duty on the, the gifts. And I said, okay, then show me where to go and pay this tax. It's either he ignored what I said or he didn't hear what I said. I'm inclined to believe that he ignored what I said because it doesn't exist. Then he was like, eh, okay, you, eh, since you didn't know, now you know. So eh, I'm sure he will let you go. So what do you have to say to him? And I said, uh, the next like, that one has found his face. So yeah, I said, thank you. And then he's like, eh. so then the other one was walking away. He was like, eh. so I'm sure you have your own special way of saying thank you to him for letting you go. And I said, me, if you get something for me, change my name. And I realized that the guy was still holding my passport. So I said, you will let me. So he closed my things and then put them back on there. When then he, hand the pass, he handed my passport back to me. And I was like, thank you. I also said thank you with a straight face. And then I wheeled myself away so as i was wheeling then i just see my husband coming with some other guy dressed in a uh, official uniform 
apparently one of the immigration people and then he was like i said ah, what are you doing in here because you know nobody's allowed into the arrival hall and he was like oh he saw that i was having a back and forth with the the, the guy so he was like nice nah, as if they are harassing me so he just went up to the guy went to ask oh it seems there's something going on with my wife over there with one of your officials can you help me get inside but by the time they got to me i had just finished and i was going ghana why and i feel i was telling you that if you start complaining right now people say that hey you've gone abroad and come back but really though really and it's all just a ploy to get money you know like oh somebody give you some ten dollars or some ten pounds or you know something but so i'll the whole the whole evening i'll, be, I'll just be there we go home around like almost 11 p.m i'll just be there and be like it's too much like i'll be there and i'll be like it's who you buy it's too much so if i had said i'd been away for five months would you still have told me that the things are too much what somebody has their money and they say they want to buy things i would say it's too much so you have to pay anyway so we are back to ghana I'm back to our motherland i'm going to buy wachi it's in the morning i'm going to buy wachi um yeah so thank you so much for um watching my travel vlogs my vacation vlog thank you so much for watching them and i will see you in my next video bye